with Kaiser International, Masarap Magritero. As contract workers, missionaries, we don't have retirement programs. That's what we're going to talk about today. Growing old is mandatory. Investing is an option. That means if we retire poor, it's our own option. So with this video, I will encourage you to invest. At the same time, take care of ourselves. If we love our family, we have to take care of ourselves. What is Kaiser International? Kaiser International is registered with Securities and Exchange Commission on June 8, 2004, with the initial stock capital of 160 million. Kaiser International Health Group Incorporated is accredited with the Department of Health and also member of Philippine Insurance Commissions. Kaiser is number 17 in the list of health maintenance organization with a certificate of authority issued by Philippine Insurance Commission by the license year of 2019 to 2023. Its number is its MO 2020-08-R. This is my personal contract policy and signed by Dr. Lia Oyulu, the President and Medical Director of Kaiser International Health Group. She is also the President of the Philippine Association of Health Maintenance Organization Companies or PAMOC, a strong HMO organization, principled and passionate to work for the benefit of all its members and stakeholders. Kaiser International is the healthcare provider of the Department of Agrarian Reform, Senate of the Philippines, House of Representative, Philippine Coast Guard, Supreme Court of the Philippines, Court of Appeals of the Philippines, Philippine Economic Zone Authority, and many more. As required by the government, Kaiser funds allocation cannot be touched by Kaiser from trust fund. It is managed by two international bank, ING Bank of Netherlands and Deutsche Bank of Germany. 49% goes to Soldibu Fund as mutual fund. Are you ready? Ready for what? Are you ready for your future? We are not going back to the future. We are going ahead. That's our inevitable destiny. I'm saying this because 2% of retirees, according to research, are financially independent. 23% have to work, otherwise they stop to eat. 30% are dependent upon donation, charities, or perhaps just live at the facility of Home for the Aged. The biggest percentage are retirees dependent from their children. This is 45%. That means 98% of these retirees did not plan to fail. They just simply failed to plan. Now, Kaiser International, we call it three in one. First, life insurance. Second, investment. Third, long-term care. With this plan, the plan holder will pay for seven years only, 13 years of waiting and investing, 20 years to mature. There are four main periods. One is accumulation period. This will be seven years of paying. Second is extended period, 13 years of investing and waiting to mature. Third, maturity period. This is terminal period where the plan holder decides to go investing or not. Number four, long-term care period. This is the period where your fund accumulated and you enjoy long-term care. Because the plan holder pays seven years, assume to start at the age of 31. And full pay at the age of 38 and mature at the age of 51. You will have 60,000 pesos annual benefit and annual physical examination benefit. And these are chest x-ray, stool examination, routing urinalysis, CBC, and ECG for the plan holder above 35 years old. And also for women above 35 years old, free pap smear. We also have dental benefits like consultation and dental examination, oral prophylaxis o pagpalinis ng ipin, unlimited simple tooth extraction, restorative and prostodontic treatment, 
planning, temporary filling unlimited, simple tooth adjustment of dentures, recementation of loose crown, dental nutrition and dietary counseling, and dental health education. Note that these benefits are available after one year of paying premium. We have to complete our payment for one year first and the second year we will begin to enjoy except for OFW because OFW foreign workers they seldom go back home maybe just once in seven years now the term life insurance benefit if the plant holder dies naturally it will be 450,000 for the beneficiaries to get accidental death 900,000 after paying for seven years assuming starting 2022 this year by the year 2029 it's already fully paid you begin to receive 10,000 a year until 2041 after full payment you will be entitled to 100,000 long-term care benefit and you have the accumulation of 350,000 if we did not use it for hospitalization. So you have 100,000, you have 350,000 plus 10% every year. At the age of 38, you begin to have 10,000 per year. At the eighth year, you will have 10,000 plus 10% interest. In the ninth year, your 10,000 plus 10% plus 10,000 of the ninth year, that is 21,000. 21,000 plus 10% plus 10,000 of the 10th year, that is 33,100. 33,100 plus 10% plus 10,000 of the 11th year, that's 46,410. 46,410 plus 10% plus 10,000 of the 12th year, that is 61,051. 61,051 plus 10% plus 10,000 of the 13th year, that is 77,156. Now let's go shortcut. By the 20th year, with the same sequence, you will have 269,750 pesos. Accidental death and dismemberment. The beneficiary will receive percentage of long-term care benefit value if something happened before 75th birthday. Loss of life, 100%. Loss of both hands, 100%. Loss of both feet, 100%. Loss of sight of both eyes, 100%. Loss of one hand and one foot, 100%. Loss of one hand and one eye, 100%. Loss of one foot and sight of one eye, 100%. Loss of one hand or one foot, 50%. Loss of sight of one eye, 50%. Now, this is in the page 27 of 30 pages of our policy. Where are the accredited hospital for Kaiser? Look at the map. The whole map of the Philippines is colored by the markers by the accredited hospital of Kaiser. You can customize in Google and search here. You write your address and see. You start paying at the age of 31 up to age 38 and the plan matures at the age of 51. So at the age of 38, you start long-term care period. Health benefits, 269,750. Health bonus and dividend, 446,419. Benefit, 100,000. Bonus, 350,000. The accumulation of 1,166,168. And this accumulated funds will gain 10% per year that will give you options to make. First, you can opt to take 10% annual increment. You withdraw 116,000 a year every year. If you finish it, the next year you withdraw the same amount, 116,000. The second option will be partial withdrawal. That means you withdraw 50% of 1,166,168. So half of it will remain and you continue your long-term care benefits. Third option is full withdrawal. You withdraw the money in full and nothing left. That's finished. And the fourth option I would recommend, investment. You invest the 1,166,168 and it will accumulate interest, compounding interest every year. This is what we call health is wealth. Why? Because the money grows.
normal health is wealth idea is different if we have money in the bank we get sick we run out of money because we use the money but with kaiser if we don't get sick the money does not only stay the money grows from contract price of more than 400,000 it will be 1.16 million after 20 years for paying seven years and you stop after seven years at the 20th year you will have 1.16 million still have part two in part two we will discuss about the reason why we have to have kaiser three in one how much the money you will make if you extend your investment in part two we will talk about computation of premiums and benefits and more talk to the person who shared this video to you how to go about this program if you have any question you can just comment down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever i have new updates about this topic have a good day